Hello everyone. Welcome back our Class B and C31803 site investigation. Today we continue our class on Chapter 5 Groundwater. Let's go, many engineering project, especially major ones, entail excavations into water-bearing soils. For all such excavations, appropriate systems for the management and control of the groundwater should be planned before start of each project. In practice this can only be done with knowledge of the groundwater condition by reference to site investigation data. Here are a few example pictures on excavation and construction below groundwater table, definition of groundwater and dewatering. Groundwater can be defined as water which is held temporarily in the soil above the level of water table. While, dewatering is a process to lower down the water table to give reasonably dry working. Groundwater control. The process of temporarily dealing with groundwater, to allow excavation to be made in dry and stable conditions below natural groundwater level. Also known as dewatering or construction dewatering or groundwater lowering, what's the relationship between soil particles with groundwater and voids? The soil and rock masses contain voids, either widely distributed in the form of pores, or locally concentrated as fractures or fissures. The water contained in the voids of the soil and rock is known as groundwater. Below the water table the soil and rock pores and fissures are full of water saturated condition. Above water table is called an unsaturated condition, permeability and groundwater flow. Permeability is a critical parameter for the assessment of how water flows through soil and rocks. Coefficient of permeability K is the flow of water through the pores of soil and rocks. Soil permeability depends the properties of the soil including the size and arrangement of the soil particles, and the resulting pore spaces formed when the particles are in contact, high permeability soil, coarse and gravel. When the void are large and the pore water can flow freely. Moderate permeability soil. Because the effective size of the pore pressure passages are reduced. Low permeability soil. Flow of poor water are further reduced. How important is groundwater? A high water table could cause flooding during wet period. Groundwater causes extreme geotechnical problems during excavations work. By its natural tendency to flow into the voids created by the excavation activities. So, issues caused by groundwater would increase construction budget and extend construction time unless the groundwater is properly controlled. Objective of groundwater control A. To lowering the groundwater level and controlling any local seepage the excavation will not be flooded by groundwater. B. To improving the stability of excavated. C. To ensure stable and workable condition so that excavation and construction can take place economically and under safe condition at all times. D. To keep the excavation bottom dry, control of groundwater. Have two techniques for the control of groundwater. A. Groundwater lowering or dewatering techniques, pumping, arrays of wells or sumps. B. Exclusion techniques, physical cut-off walls. Further explanation of these techniques will be discussed in the next class. Thank you for your attention. See you at the next class. Bye and take care.